Hank, Zarya, and Ramatra on Route 66. Duration, 26 minute long game. That is long. I recently went on a huge loss streak. Went four and 30, like that's some tilt cue. And got downranked twice from gold. This was my 30th loss. I refuse to believe that I am bad or that I belong here. Absolutely carried my team, at least stat wise. Oh no, 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 uh oh. And the majority of all my losses looked exactly like this match. I'm done. This is their profile from season three. So season three, they finished bronze oh, no. two. Uh, so this wasn't just like a one-time losing streak. Just saying. 40 and 30 streak. This was the 30th loss. Okay, this is some very interesting pathing. No clearing up up top. You're anti Don't bubble early to take more damage. Could have used another bubble early on. Done a double bubble to get 80 energy right off the gate. Now you have no bubbles and you're trying to hold W, that's very dangerous. Okay, so you have probably the most favorable matchup you could get. Orisa versus Zarya. This is actually peak battle you could have gotten. Like, th honestly, the best one. So you should have grab pretty much every fight. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're also just kind of like mindlessly W king into them. That's fine, because they're running. But at some point, you gotta make sure that you have both of your bubbles when you're doing that. Because you don't right now, and you get fucking smoked. So we already have your first death on the board, and you think that it's not your fault, and that you're hard carrying? Bitch, you are literally max charge. Max charge at the at, against an Orisa, and you're only at 45% old charge. That should be at least 65-70. Dying as Zarya at full charge is, especially the first one dead, is just a big oof. And you also are saying, well, your Ana was complaining. Honestly, your Ana's actually doing pretty well. Uh, your Moira is probably not doing a whole lot of healing, but like looking at the, uh, the, the healing stats up the top, I'm just saying, dude, your Ana's not bad, but it's also, you're playing in bronze. The rank that as I currently am looking at, you deserve. So you're not swinging wide, you're going up close against the side of the cart, you're holding W with no bubbles. Your backline is literally dying. Why do you think they're dying? Because your dumbass is fucking holding W in past their Orisa when you walk out of spawn. Because the only thing you know how to do is shoot the Orisa or shoot at the support standing near them. Because it's low rank, they're not playing in good spots, so you think you can punish them. But you don't use your cooldowns properly. Your Their Hanzo is literally free. Right the f over here. You know what you do on tank? You dominate the 1v1 up close against a DPS like that. Dominate! Your team's not even in trouble! Guess what? The soldier even comes off the high ground. They get two free picks, and your dumbass is trying to W key at the back line, in which the Moira just got a random fucking orb kill. What? Oh, dude, this is peak bronze. Watch the skill orb. Watch the fucking skill orb. Watch, watch the skill orb. Watch the skill orb. Oh my god! What in the? F I, dude, are you? And don't tell me you think that you got the pick there. You're, you didn't get the Hanzo? Okay, you're, you're you're backing out so I can go back to your POV, but I hope you already see how mindless, mindless you are taking these fights. You're W-keying with bubble, and then you don't have a second bubble online. Great, you got a pick. Look where you are. You're about to die. You're about to die. You just missed the Kiriko. Okay, you got him. Thank God. Holy shit. There's no reason to be putting yourself in that position. It's just, it's, it, you're brainlessly holding W. You cannot tell me you're thinking about anything other than must kill the supports, must kill the supports, must, must kill the supports. Wait, 10 games? Wait, really? All right, we're going to have to come back to this later. Somebody mark this chat, 234. Side quest time. Three hours later. Little bit of, uh, a little bit of spectating side quest complete. It's been many hours, but uh, I remember this guy was doing some weird, like, staying on low ground and... You get some lucky right click, but the guy was one HP, so I guess that's something. Yes, chat, we got the start at 234. Thank you, you're very helpful. I can hear, like, God himself stomping over here. Thank God we caught him eventually. I think he's gonna grab him. 
that was the worst grab I've ever seen. No, like, that was actually the most ass grab I have ever seen. How did you do that? There's an Arissa walking at you with Fortify. You literally can't... You can't grab her during that. You should adjust the Arissa. You waited it out at least. You wait the Fortify out, but then you're just immediately... It was just an Arissa anyways. Like, why are you trying to grab an Arissa? Thank God it's an Arissa. Like, this, this is free eats for you. This, this should literally be... Dude, hello? Dude, you have, you have actually zero concept. Zero. Zero concept of abilities in this game. Like, the only thing you know how to do is shoot the tank. That's it. That's not good gameplay. Shooting the Arissa the entire time is not good. Stop shooting the horse. You can shoot the horse when you're full charge and you're farming grab, but otherwise it's f***ing useless. You W key with no cooldowns. You, you said to me, you said that you don't think you, you cannot accept that you are bronze. I promise you, bronze might even be a little high. Being able to shoot at the giant, the giant 600 HP target is not that impressive. Especially on Zarya, which is probably one of the more mechanical tanks. You have no... You, you're just looking around. like You're like, ah, what's going on? You gonna, go, you gonna go help? I guess you can sit there and cap. That's fine. I, I don't know why you're trying to win this Reinhardt 1v1 at point blank with no bubbles. You're lucky he stopped swinging on you. They actually kind of trolled. You should have died. Okay, okay, mechanical skill going on right now of like somewhere around an avocado. There you go. Thank God they jumped into you. You know, you can move this more against the small targets and it works, I promise. Oh. What are you doing? Why are you leaving? There's a Hanzo in your fucking back line? Bro, there's a Hanzo in your back line. And you're like, yeah, nah, that's, that's just not my problem anymore. You know, you know how dangerous that is? You're literally a... You're a 475 HP DPS. Go kill him. Don't put anyone on your team at risk. There's no point. Like, I, the amount of times I've seen things just become other people's problem is hilarious. Also, um... Did you notice that their Hanzo actually killed your Hanzo? Yeah, that you were fighting at one point and you just said, Nah, fuck off, man. Yeah, he kills yours. So, uh, just saying. You could have prevented that. Luckily, your Moira goes on the flank and goes for him. To be fair, even in Masters, sometimes the tank will do that. But in Masters, but you're talking about completely different scenarios here. And on top of that, too, in that scenario, it doesn't happen that often. And when it does, though, it's a little bit different. Because you actually have kills to chase. He's not chasing anything. He's just, he's just looking forward. You're in bronze. You have to. You have to, If you're in bronze and you're like, okay, I need to get out of here, you have to basically assume that you're gonna have to do everything right around your team, and your teammates aren't gonna help you. So if your teammates are bronze and they're standing in their back line, and you're literally a 475 HP, why even take the risk? Just turn around and go kill them. That was actually a decent grab, though. That grab wasn't bad. Unfortunately, the downside for using that grab is you then died. So you lost your charge. Now you can't push out because the tank is very important to keep alive. So yes, they lost both their supports, but. Why didn't you, I don't even attempt to try to bubble him or anything? Like, why Why are you, like, going AFK and looking around? You're just like, they'll all die. Why are you waiting? Like, I, I feel like you're, like, hard tilted, and you're like, this. it's their fault, not mine. That You made one play. That was your first play you made the entire game, which is grabbing two people and taking a two-for-one trade. And it's like, you're kind of, like, looking at him like he's beneath you. And then you just got absolutely pooped on because you're standing in the middle of the open with no bubbles you're sh my guy what are you shooting an f-16s like what what do you see up there is there ghosts is there is there ghosts like fighter jets up there am i fucking missing something what are you looking at up here brother is the did the did the air dominance program just start up what's going on so, 
you're, you're a tank. You could have very easily probably walked through that pop nemesis form and one-tapped him, but it's bronze. I'll let you slide. Uh, hello? How you have the audacity, the audacity to tell me I refuse to believe I am that bad or that I belong here. Absolutely carried my team, at least stats-wise. I refuse to believe that you genuinely believe that. There's no fucking way. You just turn your brain off and hold W and then fall over and die, and you go, well, what happened? Hello? Didn't shield? Didn't shield the ground? You're trying to shield the garage? No Romatra shift to go for punches? What do you mean, where is my team? Surely, surely... Surely you go to the point and touch here, right? Okay. You know what? Hey, at least you made one right decision there. You didn't chase the the, the, the Reinhardt. Finally, a good decision. Okay, I'm not gonna rush. I'm not gonna say much about your aim here. You should be poking and taking shots, though. You're kind of terrified. Like you're scared shitless. I know you're not full HP, but you don't really need to be full HP to. You still have 275. Okay, chasing. Go for the carry first. That's what happens. You go for, go for the carry first. That's fine. Okay, playing it safe, backing away. Definitely some good theories going on here. Uh, probably shield at some point so you can play a little bit more aggressive and then maybe shield off the Ryan's heels. No, not going to use that. Just going to walk at him, then he can pin me in a straight line. Then you're going to have to pop your ults here so that way you stay alive. And then surely you're going to walk at their back line, right? You're not going to walk at the Ryan. You got the easy kill on the Ana. Didn't even mean to do that. See, if you actually wanted to be the, quote, hard carry, you wouldn't even think about it. you just walk by the Ryan, kill his supports, turn around and kill him. And that's free. That's literally free. Luckily, it's OT. Oh my god. So you're gonna step up. Hello? Hello? Decent ult, though? Not really. Like, it's... There, it's last... It's like... Like, you press... It's overtime. The game's about to end. They're walking in front of you, you press Q. Is that really like, oh, it's a good ult? Or like... No, you just had no other... You just had a button come online. You just hit it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I guess. Like, technically, but... I, I wouldn't say you made a decision. No, I saw I saw the, so the thought process there a little bit. Um, instead of going back and staring at your team half the time, you could have went up on high ground and contested it. That's something. Uh, also, this has turned a lot more uh, recommendation and coachy than normal, but I always get annoyed when people... Kind of say like, no, my it's just my teammates. So that's it. All right, that's a decent shield. You can totally go punch him though. Maybe the Kiri first. Any Kiri killers on the right side? No. The Ana's even low. No. Okay. I know you take a lot of damage there, but it's because you're standing still in front of the cart. When that's not a great mana, but good lord. You at least know the combos of the shield and then throwing the sock to try to slow people down, but. You need to stop running away like a little bitch. They're all in the corner there. You literally have a coalescence going. What are you doing? There you go. I would say, honestly, your mechanics are probably better than bronze. They're probably more like high silver. Uh, maybe mid silver. But your decision making and your cooldown usage is legitimately so fucking bad that you actually probably deserve to be in bronze. Cap to 0.1 seconds. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's escort. As long as you cap, you get time. I don't know why you would go for the pin there. I know you canceled it, but interesting. Careful, there's more of them than us. That's what you're losing, quote unquote, losing to right now. Just, just saying. Hey, you have some tracking. You at least track the, the body through the air. Are you confused? I feel like you're confused. You know, it's like kind of like just wait right now. There's nothing to really do. Probably could have checked who was slept behind you just so you could, you know, 
better idea where they were. Also, yeah, you're just kind of mindlessly walking around. You're not doing anything. You're not. You're just kind of like pretending to do something. You know, like when you like you're at work and you need to look busy, so you like you know you pretend like you're sending an email or something or whatever. Like, what in the f are you doing? Like, uh, hello? What? 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 Did you get bored? Like, I feel like you got bored and you're like, F I gotta hit a button at some point, just do something, and just it unlock dice roll to the charge button. There's no point. You're just kind of sitting at the choke and destroying. Like, you just sit there and hold space, and that's it. There's no reason to have hold charge and feed. That's another feed out of you. Dude, I, I think I've ca counted for you alone like four feeds this game, maybe five. Oh, here comes the shatter. He's gonna look for it. Here it comes. Never mind, might not use it because of the coalescence. Wait, why are you why are you hiding here? You should probably hold W with your coalescence, no? Oh, you're looking for the shatter, that's what it is. Here it comes. Big slam! Oh, everybody's there! I'm s you fucking suck. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> There's no way you sent this to me and we're like, I play perfect, my teammates fucking suck. Like, bro, like, are you serious? Like, how how are you gonna how are you gonna do that? How are you, you don't die of that, right? Missing a swing is impressive. Yeah, not much you can do here. I guess you could go for the mega. The mega would be a decent idea. Was the Mega there? Survey says... <sighs> to play Ryan, you have to actually be aggressive. You have to, you have to actually know and understand when to be aggressive. When, I hope you're not... Okay, there we go. Swapping characters is fine. Swapping characters is fine. Kind of getting a little aggressive here. Not gonna lie, it's a long way out. If they sh they come main here and start shooting you, it's a long walk. You have one bubble left. This is a this is this is kind of this is kind of begging to die. Wow, the Ryan actually pushed you out. The Ryan literally saved you. That was actually no, no way, no, no, don't, don't, don't ruin the opportunity you got. Okay, nice. Now you have a bubble. Now you could hold W. Now, if you're like feeling it, you could have chased. That was the opportunity. If you don't have bubbles holding W into double into full team. You just die. Gonna save Bastion, probably. Honestly, your bi the big thing though for Zarya here is if you're full charge and holding this strong, like you need to just be saving your bubbles pretty much for yourself. Your teammates aren't gonna need them that much. Dude, I hate that you only go for the rhyme. There we go. That's a good grab. Now you can all press Q, but hey, that was actually a good grab. Uh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I hate you. I actually, I actually hate your attitude. I, I actually fucking hate it. There's no way. There's actually no shot you have an ego after a play like that. Yeah, it was nice, but it's like, dude, you you, you hit a grab and three of everyone hit Q. Like that's that's not impressive. Like, you know, it's like, hey, good play. That's it, and you move on. I'm just saying, I would, I would not be bagging nobody if I was four and thirty. No bubbles going up against this Ryan. Luckily, your Bastion just absolutely blasted him. Your Bastion is blasting. What did you even do? My guy just stood there like AFK, hit like two right clicks and shot at a Ryan who's getting blasted by a Bastion. There's one bubble. The Ryan just shattered a wall. Why are you chasing the Rhine? I mean, I guess you can, but there's a coalescence coming. You're probably gonna die. Yeah. Well, 
that's not the worst. I just, I don't know. That's just a little bit questionable. I probably would have went for something else. And that's probably going to cap them second, because you're going to have OT spawns. When didn't they say they lost us? This game is 26 minutes long. There's a lot more to come. Yeah, that, that was what originally got my attention. It was a 26 minute long game. And then I read the description and I was like, wait, wait, you have a huge ego. And you went three and 40 or three and 30 or four and 30, whatever it was. Oh God, dropping this early with one bubble? Well, come on, why, why, why? Now you're in trouble. Now you're looking around. You're like, help me, somebody heal me, help me, help me, help me, help me, somebody. And then you're going back. <laughs> Oh, the rage. The rage just came out. I know it. Just... Ah, but I punched the monitor. But Moira, turn around! Moira! Why aren't you healing your fucking dog shit? You're so trash. Wait, did they have grav? Bro, you have grav. Wait, they have grav and they swapped. Oh my god, the tilt. The tilt's gotta be insane. Insane. Nah, there ain't no way. Dude, there's only a minute left. You at least stay for one fight, win the fight with Grav, and then you swap the next fight. It's very easy. Giving up all your tank ult charge to play Ramatra and basically stand back AFK and play Sigma until they get close enough? Oh. <laughs> Why? Why are you shifting to block the soldier? He's not coming near you, you're full HP! Oh my god! That's a tank differential right there. And there, Ryan even jumped! He fucking jumped! Dude, you had all year! Dude, I could have went out and went for a walk by the time this thing came down. Watch. Dude, I could have went out, got a snack, went for, went for a walk, came around the block, pet a dog on the way home, like... <laughs> Like, like, genuinely, how do you not go 4 and 30 and not realize that, hey, I'm probably the problem here? Like, I understand tilt queuing. I've been there. Not any, it's been very many, many, many years since I ever tilt queued like that, but... Like, come on. Come on, you have to understand that you are the problem, right? So, surely you're gonna go left side, you're gonna go take high ground, you're gonna force them off the high ground, you're gonna really, you know, try to push them back, take some tank space. Not gonna just W key at them and hope that your teammates heal you, right? I think we figured out the answer. Okay, this is actually somewhat decent against Ramatra. Not great, but it's like okay. And you guys got an opening pick, Pog. You have no abilities though. Uh, you're holding W with no shift. You lucky you survived. Okay. This is pretty good. I'd like to help your May. Go help your May. Go help your May on the soldier. Go help your May on the soldier. Go help your May on the soldier. No? Go help your Yep, shield off the mercy. That's a good idea. You have you have no clue what's happening at all. You're just shooting the Arissa. You're a stat farmer. Stop shooting the horse. Stop shooting the horse. Stop shooting the horse. Suck. I'm sorry, dude. There's no. I'm, I can't. You're probably screaming at your junk right? Good feed her, dude. Why you're not on cart? Feed her. Feed her. Surely you get Ramatra ult and you win this, right? Surely you get Ramatra ult and you. But Flats, the Arisa pushed him off the point. How was he supposed to deal with that? Oh, I don't know. Don't stand right in front of her. You can stand on the left side of the cart. Use the cart as fucking cover. Don't just look at the Arisa drop down. Like, she's obviously going to go for something, right? This Arisa's walking at you. Like, fucking set up on the left side. Look up towards high ground. Like, yeah, that's preventable. I'm sorry. That's preventable. Yeah, like... You, you gotta understand that the Arissa's dropping off the high ground for something, right? Like, she's not coming down just to say hello and go, hello. There's no way. Uh, you do not lose those. You should not have lost that. Granted, granted, you might be sitting there saying, 
God, if you're AFK flaming, you're, t you're definitely AFK flaming his teammates. But chat, okay, chat. What's the, what is the percentage out of 100? What is the percentage that they are right now flaming their teammates? This is 2x speed, by the way. Someone is getting toasted. They're yelling at him, like, you should have stayed on point. He's like, I got pushed off. Our Junkrat fed. There it is. 5%, you think they're eating a cookie? All right, fair enough. Honestly, if I was 4 and 30, I'd probably want a cookie, too. You're going to call that shield back? There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? This is, this is you, dude. We're both spectating the game right now. You don't have to go for just bounce shots, by the way. Actually, oh no! My guy, looking at the ground the entire time. That you're never, you're not gonna catch things that are happening. You don't have confidence in your left click. You're like, okay, I'll just bounce all of them because hopefully it hits more people. It does way more damage if you impact them. That was a good rock. Wow, that was actually a good rock. I'll give you that. That's play number three. Probably use your suck at some point. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Probably maybe a little bit sooner. There you go. Your junk rat's fucking carrying. How, how? I would have probably backed away and looked for a health pack there. I don't know why you went back to cart. Why did you do that? You're like 120 HP. Your junk rat clears the cart, and you're like, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna stand here and just wait it out. You have ult. I mean, your team is kind of still fighting on point, which is not gonna lie. It's probably gonna cost you this game. I think it's kind of GG right now. But they get the big res. You could cut, you pop flux right now, fly around the corner, come on. There we go, come on, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Okay, big flux. Big flux, got a kill, there you go. You finally got some gold. There's a lot of mines around you though, so. Uh, that was actually a good try at the end. You know what the worst part though is? That was finally your first good, like, good attempt. Like, seriously, most of the game kind of like was like AFK, not really paying attention. And then the, on, like, you flipped it on for OT. Why not do that all the time? It'd be so much easier.